सो हाय एवरीवन एंड अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ पीआईबी 247 इन टुडे सेशन गाइस वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द पीआईबी न्यूज़ फ्रॉम 14th एंड 15th ऑफ नवंबर 2022 एंड आई होप यू गाइस आर ऑल सेट फॉर द सेशन एंड आई होप योर प्रिपरेशंस आर गोइंग वेल एंड यस सम पीपल आर आस्किंग अबाउट आरबीआई ग्रेड बी 2023 नोटिफिकेशन सो गाइस लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग प्लीज डोंट वेट फॉर द नोटिफिकेशन वंस द नोटिफिकेशन इज आउट the question changes to whether we would be able to cover the entire syllabus in this much time so that time it will be a big no right so please don't wait for the notification just start your preparation because we all know that the, the uh, that the notification will definitely come and when we all know that the notification will come then what are we waiting for all right so all the very best for 2023 examination please start your preparation now all right so let's begin with the session today but before we begin If you want to have the PDF of this session, you can join the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. All right, let's talk about the very first question, which says, the city's Credit Worthiness Academy workshop was recently held in New Delhi to create an enabling ecosystem for financing future cities of India. Which ministries had organized this workshop with World Bank Group? अगर इसमें से क्वेश्चन आया तो the question will be this only because this workshop is not that important but yes the organizers uh, the organizers are important right so remember it was the city's credit worthiness academy workshop it was organized in new delhi and it was organized to discuss how we can properly finance the future cities in the country right so basically to create an enabling ecosystem for financing future cities of the country right now when we are talking about cities so there must be ministry of housing and urban affairs right isn't it and when we are talking about financing there must be the ministry of finance right so these two are the ministries which have organized this event along with the world bank group all right so uh, remember ministry of housing and urban affairs headed by hardeep singh puri who is also the minister of petroleum and natural gas and of course ministry of finance is headed by nirmala tai right so organizers were the department of economic affairs under the ministry of finance and ministry of housing and urban affairs and the world bank group all right so that is all and now let's come back to the question the correct answer must be option a and option b which means option d will be the correct answer a and b only all right moving ahead to question number 2 in our lifetime campaign was launched recently in a side event of india pavilion held at 27 cop i hope you all know this cop 27 is currently going on right and uh, it took place actually ab to khatam ho gaya hai it took place in uh, sharm al sheikh city sharm al sheikh city of egypt right this was cop 27 so in our lifetime campaign ke bare mein question hai question is its focus is on youth between which age group so first of all let's try and understand that what is this in our lifetime campaign so remember first of all you have to remember this thing that it was launched as a side event of cop 27 which took place in sharm el sheikh city of egypt and it was organized this campaign was organized basically to encourage youth who are in the age group of 18 to 23 years to spread awareness about the life campaign right that life campaign which was announced by prime minister modi during cop 26 lifestyle for environment basically to raise awareness about how we can work more efficiently towards saving our environment and in this the youth of uh, bit, uh, the youth between age group of 18 and 23 unka skill istemal kiya jayega taki awareness zyada se zyada spread kar sake all right so remember it was launched by national museum of natural history which works under the ministry of environment forest and climate change yes do remember this This museum works under the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, headed by Bhupendra Yadav, right? And along with United Nations Development Program. So the two organizations were there, which launched this event. Number one, National Museum of Natural History and UNDP, right? And it gives a global call for ideas from youth across the world who are passionate about conservation of environment. All right. So this is all about the lifestyle campaign. Now, can you tell me? who is the chief of undp write down in the comments the name of the chief of undp and its headquarters as well headquarters agar nahi pata hoga to no problem i'll tell you in the next class 
All right. So for which age group this uh, this uh, the campaign was focused? So it was 18 to 23 years. Option C is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number three. The 41st edition of India International Trade Fair. So you must be aware about this IITF. If especially if you are living in Delhi, trade fair like that. Every year, Pragati Medal Me from 14th to 27th of November. Right. So it has been now inaugurated. So it was held. Actually, it is going on at Pragati Medal in New Delhi. It was organized by ITPO. It is being organized by ITPO with the theme "Vocal for Local and Local to Global." This is the theme. Very important. The question is which are the partner states of this edition so every year there are one or two or three partner states and some states are uh, focus states so let's see which states are the partner state this time first of all theme vocal for local and local to global then organizer itpo india trade promotion organization which works under the ministry of commerce and industry which is headed by mr piyush goel and of course piyush goel is also the minister of textile Minister of Consumers, Food Affairs, and Public Distribution, and he is also the leader in Rajya Sabha, right? Leader in Rajya Sabha bhi hai ye. To bahut sari cheez zimmedari hai Piyush Goel ke kando par. To partner states were three: Bihar, Jharkhand, and Maharashtra, and focus states were two: Uttar Pradesh and Kerala. And jo exhibition lage hai, these are from twelve different countries, including Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bahrain, Belarus, Iran, Nepal, Thailand. Turkey, UAE and UK. Right? These 12 countries, you don't have to remember the names. If there is a question, then generally it is the same. Partner states or focus states. Ka. That's it. Alright? So, which are the partner states? These are Bihar, Jharkhand and uh, Maharashtra. Is it? Yes. Bihar, Jharkhand and Maharashtra are the partner states which means 1, 3 and 5. Alright, option B, 1, 3 and 5 is the correct answer. And don't get confused between the partner states and the focus states. Partner states are these three, Bihar, Jharkhand and Maharashtra. And which are the focus states? These are Uttar Pradesh and Kerala. Alright. So now coming back to the question. Okay, I told you the answer. Option B is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number 4. Lead IT, which is Leadership for Industry Transition. This summit has been launched uh, in 2019 to gather the countries and companies that are committed to action. To achieve, to achieve the 2015 Paris Agreement. It was launched by India and which country? So it is not a new uh, uh, summit. It is not a uh, new thing. It was launched in 2019 by Government of India and Government of Sweden. Right? So why it is in news then? It is in news because India and Sweden hosted the Lead IT Summit on the sidelines as a sideline event of COP27. So what are news at COP27? Say? Everything will be covered. Don't worry at all. Now, this summit has been organized to focus on low carbon transition of the hard to abate industrial sector. Jo our industrial sector is where low carbon ki taraf hum bade, uske liye discussion karne ke liye this summit was organized. Right? The lead IT initiative, the objective is to gather countries and companies that are committed towards achieving the goals of 2015 Paris Agreement. Right? Countries or companies, matlab public-private partnership mein saare milke, 2015 का जो पेरिस एग्रीमेंट है उसके टारगेट्स को अचीव करेंगे राइट इट वाज लॉन्च्ड इन द ईयर 2019 बाय द गवर्नमेंट्स ऑफ स्वीडन एंड इंडिया एंड इट इज सपोर्टेड बाय वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फोरम एज वेल दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्ट डू रिमेंबर इट राइट एंड दीस मेंबर्स सब्सक्राइब टू द नोशन दैट एनर्जी इंटेंसिव इंडस्ट्री कैन प्रोग्रेस ऑन लो कार्बन पाथवेज एज वेल राइट एमिंग टू अचीव द नेट जीरो कार्बन एमिशंस राइट so that is all and therefore the correct answer is option D, Sweden. Let's talk about question number 5 then. Recently ministers representing countries of the basic group. Now this is another group. Please don't get confused uh, between basic and BRICS. These are the two different groups. Met at the Sharmal Sheikh climate, okay COP27 held in Egypt. Basic is block of four, four large newly industrialized countries established in 2009. Which country is not a part of this group? So one thing is clear that there are four member countries in the basic group and they all met during the COP27 and they met and they decided to give complete support to the, uh, you know, this COP27, right? So to pledge their full support to the Egyptian COP27, 
presidency for a successful conference they met together and they take a pledge of this that okay we are going to support this COP27 to make it a huge success all right now talking about basic group so these are the four countries Brazil South Africa India and China Brazil South Africa India and China are the four countries it was established in the year 2009 with no permanent secretariat okay it was constituted as one of the parties in the non-legally binding Copenhagen Accord 2009 reached with the US led grouping right basically it was uh, launched as a part of non-legally binding Copenhagen Accord of 2009 these four countries have common position on reducing greenhouse gas emissions and raising the massive funds that are needed to fight the climate change all right so which of the following is not a country russia is not a country because china india brazil and south africa are there option e is the correct answer russia all right moving ahead to question number six where was this special handloom and handicraft expo organized by ministry of textile headed by Piyush goel to provide direct access to the handloom weavers and art designs to market their products to consumers so remember this expo was organized recently in the capital New Delhi option D is the correct answer. And the last question for today, which country had hosted the 19th India ASEAN summit and remember 2022 is being observed as India ASEAN friendship year. It is being observed as India ASEAN friendship year. This is also important. Do remember it. And this summit, this summit, if I talk about this summit, so it was organized in Cambodia option D is the correct answer. All right. And that is it. I hope all the questions are clear and their explanations are also clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. And I will see you in the next session on Monday. Goodbye, take care and God bless.